Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and today we are taking a look at Diablo 2 Resurrected. This is the early access to the open beta that we'll be taking a look at today, so some things are bound to change by the time we hit actual release, which happens in the later part of September. I played the original Diablo 2 back when it came out 21 or so years ago. I would have been a sophomore or a junior in high school at the time, so I know that dates me quite a bit. Let's get in here and see what we can choose for classes. I know we're limited because it's beta. It looks like there's one class that we... Well, no, there are a couple classes that we don't have access to. And I'm not even sure what they are because we can't even hover over them. This one looks like a necromancer. Her? I don't know. Maybe an assassin or a rogue. We have an Amazon skilled with the spear and the bow. She is a very versatile fighter. Barbarian, he is unequaled in close quarters combat and mastery of weapons. Paladin is a natural party leader, holy man, and blessed warrior. Sorceress, she has mastered the elemental magics, fire, lightning, and ice. And a druid, commanding the forces of nature, he summons wild beasts and raging storms to his side. Ah, uh, let's see, I thought about either a paladin or checking out the druid. We could try the Sorceress. I'm always kind of drawn to the heavy armor, sword and shield classes in RPGs. But I'm also very interested to see what the Druid has, the, has to offer. We'll probably be able to check out both at some point. I'm going to go with a Paladin for now. Alright, very cool looking. Let's go ahead and get right into things. Good day. Alright, it looks like somebody has a quest for us here. Well met, noble paladin. It's been a while since I've seen any of your kind in the West. It would be an honor to aid you in any way that I can. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Some say that Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that, but a dark wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. It was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the Wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. Until it's safer outside the camp and the gates are reopened, I'll remain here with my caravan. I hope to leave for Lutgolain before the shadow that fell over Tristram consumes us all. If you're still alive then, I'll take you along. You should talk to Akara, too. She seems to be the leader of this camp. Maybe she can tell you more. Alright. And guys, if you're new to the channel, first, welcome. It's really great to have you here. Secondly, we will be letting all of the cutscenes, voice acting, play out. And if there are any lore objects or quests that need to be read, I'll be reading those as well. And we'll be trying to get ourselves as immersed as possible into the world of Diablo 2. Your private stash. Okay, storage box. What do we have here? Scroll of identity. What does this do? Scroll of town portal seems pretty self-explanatory. Welcome, Outlander, to our glorious hovel. I know you're here to challenge the evil that's driven us from our ancestral home. But know this. Akara may be our spiritual leader, but I command the rogues in battle. It will take more than just killing a few beasts in the wilderness to earn my trust. Alright, well so far we've killed nothing. So, that makes sense. Different waypoints. So if we hit tab, we get a... Kind of a 3D map of the area. Here. 
let's check out some of the settings here. I feel like for the audio, the voices might be a little bit high. Everything else I've kind of toned down. Let's bring the voices down a little bit. And maybe the ambient down a little bit. You guys let me know any sound settings that need to be further adjusted and we'll take a look Not at that. Here. Can't talk to her. Not here. Good day to you, partner. I'm Geed, and I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken camp. A spare weapon, some gold, a small gem is all I want in exchange for the equipment you'll need on whatever quest you might undertake. No, 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 don't be shy. All of my items are guaranteed for life and come with a two-day warranty. Wow, a two-day warranty. That's really something. We can gamble here, we can trade. Obviously we have no money. He does have some items that may interest us at some point. Hi there, I'm Charcy, the blacksmith here in camp. It's good to see some strong adventurers around here. Many of our sisters fought bravely against Diablo when he first attacked the town of Tristram. They came back to us true veterans, bearing some really powerful items. Seems like their victory was short-lived, though. Most of them are now corrupted by Andario. That doesn't sound good. Your presence honors me. I'll gladly take you eastward. If you can drive the evil from the monastery, then the rogues may reopen the pass through the mountains. Greetings. Geed is a pig. I've been tempted to throw him out of the camp many times. <laughs> but Charcy seems to think that he's good company. I don't trust the man. But if she is comforted by him, then I'll desist. So can we just venture out of here? Uh, let's see. Well, we'd want to be going towards the exit. Entering the blood moor. Cleanse this wilderness. Oh. Okay, then that's what we sound like. Well, these guys don't seem all that strong, at least. Granted, all we have is a normal attack right now. That seems to be enough. So if I understand correctly, the Fallen, all these things were once people. I see you back there.
Uh, is the chest empty? That's unfortunate. And we do kind of get a map. It's not a lot of details. Do we have any kind of uh, journal or anything of that nature? Oh! So the G button will put us back into uh, old school mode. That's interesting. Let's take a look here. Quest log. Uh, we have no quests currently. Evil dwells within this cave. Kill all the monsters in the den. Okay. Now we have a quest. And just so you guys know, even though I played the original 20-something years ago, I don't remember any of it. And I haven't played this at all. Uh, in any testing or anything like that. So everything is basically going to be new to me. I don't know if we can take this gargantuan beast, but we are going to find out. Alright, he's going down. We need to be a little closer, it seems. Alright, though intimidating, we can take these things out. This guy is some kind of caster. We'll take a look at our new skills and stats once we carve out a little area here to be safe in for a minute. New skills. Defensive auras, offensive auras, combat skills. Smite. Temporarily stun your enemy by bashing it with your shield. Sacrifice. Increase accuracy and damage at the cost of life. Offensive auras might. When active, aura increases the damage done by you and your party. Prayer. When active, aura slowly regenerates the life of you and your party. Or resist fire. When active, aura decreases fire damage. Uh, I'd really be happy to get another ability. Let's take smite. New stats. I'm going to say we should probably start off by going into Strength and Vitality. Okay. And if you guys have any tips, I would be happy to hear from you guys. Now my question is, I need to keybind that smite ability, don't I? Oh wait, this guy's resurrecting these. He's literally resurrecting them. That's awesome. I love that they run away. You feel healthy. I doubt it. All right, let's get this guy. Let's target the casters uh, before we target the little guys.
I'm assuming there will be clear situations when using our little stun is going to be useful. I'm noticing that whatever we have equipped on our hands is already red. So that's probably not great. Oh, a portal shrine. So we could teleport to and from this. Oops, that's chat, not map. Note to self, M is not map. All right, let's get back here to this guy. And then they, they scatter. Do we want to go home at this point and, you know, sell some stuff? Maybe buy some stuff? Or do we want to keep going? Let's keep going. Let's try. Let's see if we can clear this place out. Nothing in here has been incredibly difficult yet. Our inventory still seems like it has quite a bit of space left over in it. I see a blue zombie here. That might be a little harder to take out than the other ones. They have a bit of health, but they don't seem to have a lot of attacks. Uh, even that guy wasn't that hard to deal with. Alright, we have our caster back here, just wreaking havoc. Take him out. I kind of wish those would stay on all the time. Holy Bolt. This seems cool. Uh, let's see. A bolt of divine energy that damages undead enemies or heals allies requires level 6. Can we take this yet? Oh, apparently not. Requires level 6. Let's go there instead. Whoops, I really wanted to see if I could keybind something here. A dead rogue. Another dead rogue. I think we need to look over in this area, but besides that, we've cleared out almost everything. Are we going to know when we're completed? Three monsters remaining, okay. 
That's two monsters remaining. It's really nice of us to tell us specifically what we're looking for. That being said... Oh, there's one guy up there, okay. And this should be our last monster. Oh, look at that, everything changes! My duty here is done. Nice, nice. Okay. Uh, do we just want to take the portal back? It might have been faster just to walk out. I like how the, the rays of light come in, like the holy light has reclaimed the place. And who had the quest for us? Turn to Akara. Oh, she's way down here. I am Akara. I priestess of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. I welcome you, traveler, to our camp. But I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty citadel, from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations, has been corrupted by the evil demoness Andariel. I still can't believe it. But she turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Now the last defenders of the sisterhood are either dead or scattered throughout the wilderness. I implore you, stranger, please help us. Find a way to lift this terrible curse and we will pledge our loyalty to you for all time. All right, for all of time. Of yeah, that's a long time. You've earned my trust, and may yet restore my faith in humanity. <laughs> the reward is training in the skill of your choice. Oh, good. We literally restored her faith in humanity. That's huge, guys. We obviously should have talked to her before leaving. Hello. Reset stat skill points. Okay. What can you trade? Town portal... And identity. Is it going to do that the whole time? It is. <laughs> it is going to do that the whole time. Uh, okay. Quest completed. Even though the corrupted ones were once of our order, you need not shy from slaying them. For they stand between you and Andariel. Perhaps when the Demon Queen is dead, our sisters will return to life. But more likely, they will be forever bound to their unholy pact. That does seem more likely, yeah. At least you're a realist. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, should we touch base with everybody else here and see if anything else is going on? We don't really have any other quests. What we do need to do is to sell stuff and maybe buy some Hello. items. Oh, you have a quest for us. Let's let, for, let's go to the vendor first, shall we? Which one of you guys sold stuff? Yes. All right, and what do we want to purchase? I guess we need a helmet. Uh, how much is it? Oh, this stuff is actually quite expensive. We do need some gloves because the ones we have are broken. Defense six, defense three. I think we go with the heavy. Oh, these are 767 gold. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Alright, I guess that is all we're doing gear-wise. He's got weapons too, but... Uh, we can't afford any of his weapons because we are broke my rogue scouts have just reported an abomination in the monastery graveyard apparently and Dariel is not content to take only our living Bloodraven, one of our finest captains in the battle against Diablo at Tristram, was also one of the first to be corrupted by Andariel. Now you'll find her in the monastery graveyard, raising our dead as zombies. We cannot abide this defilement. If you are truly our ally, you will help us destroy her. Yeah, we will. She seems incredibly rude. Raising the dead, all that. Look for Blood Raven in the burial grounds next to the cold plains. Am I supposed to know where stuff like that is at? Because that does not really tell me a whole lot. Ne to, well, it's it's a possible waypoint. And that's about all we know about it right now. I mean, at this point, I'm willing to kill everything because we are obviously going to want as much gold as we can get our hands on. So let's just explore the whole place. I don't know what the frequency is for respawns, although I'm, I'm sure it has to happen. We got a buckler, five defense, five defense, chance of this is like the exact same thing we already have. What's this? A quill rat? You're new. Oh, you don't have any health either. Well, okay then.
Um, it looked like that guy was killed by his own buddy, but maybe that's not what happened. Love the music in the game. Hope it's hope it's loud enough for you guys to hear it. What I worry about in games like this is I, I always worry that like the combat sounds get annoying after a while. Especially when you're kind of like a passive, when you're a, an observer and you're not actually like engaging with the controls. So I tend to turn some of those things down a little bit. Let's just turn combat down a little bit. I'd rather have the music and the ambience take the forefront. There we go. I also kind of wish, wish we could leave the uh, chat channels. Maybe I'll have to investigate that. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's a house full of them. Oh, this is really cool. I like how detailed the interior is. Guess there's nothing in the forest to loot though, unfortunately. Can we break any barrels? No? Okay, I feel like we have we have scouted out this entire area. And I'm not really sure where we want to go from here. I don't think I missed anything. Definitely didn't miss any ways out of here. It's all very much closed in. And yeah, the rest of this is just the ocean here. Oh, is there a bridge we could cross? Well, that might be a way out. You know, the bridge that goes over the river. That guy didn't have anything on him. We've got more quill rats. I don't know why a quill rat needs gold, but I'll take it. Uh, well, we could put some into Vitality. I wonder if Dexterity helps us at all. It determines how well your attacks can hit the enemy. So that's our uh, rating to hit. Maybe I need to put a couple points in that as well. Stamina and health is Vitality. Energy is our total mana. I'm going to sit on this for now. I feel like there's some things I need to learn about the ability system. Like, I'm kind of thinking we have to be able to use more than one secondary ability, right?
I were just whiffing here. They don't seem to mind very much. I need a key. Oh. You feel more skillful. Do we now? We feel more skillful, but we don't, uh... We don't have any more skill points, do we? Oh, it, it buffed these? These are little threes now, instead of being a one. Hmm. We do seem to have an NPC down there. We'll go check that out in a minute. It's locked. Coming across a lot of locked chests. It's locked. And empty chests. Oh, let's uh, let's handle these guys first, shall we? Oh, let's get the uh, caster back here. All right, there we go. Oh, you're running really fast. You're new. Alright, now let's go talk to her. Beware. The evil is strong ahead. Oh, that's literally all she had to say. Beware. Take care. Okay. Guys, the evil is strong ahead. Here's our portal. Uh, not a good time though. We are overburdened. It's a good thing we're by this town portal. Alright, who's rezzing? Are you rezzing? No, I don't think so. I gotta go around and clean up all these casters first. That way they're not just resurrecting folks as we kill them. I am overburdened. We know, we know, you're overburdened. I feel like bad for them when they're like just running away and we have to like chase them down and kill them. Okay, when they get rezzed, I stop feeling bad. Nebula. 
I mean, there are a lot of them. It's, it doesn't really present any kind of challenge to kill them, but... For sheer numbers, you know, I guess that's kind of impressive. I don't know if the evil was stronger necessarily, just more abundant. Okay. What's going on with our inventory here? Uh, what I don't know, I don't know if we... If we teleport back and leave all this stuff on the ground, if any of it's going to be here when we come back to pick it up. You know what I mean? Like, if I go back to town right now, I'm assuming all this stuff is going to disappear. And even our potions... Our potions can't stack. So there is that. Uh, what is this? Leather armor... I feel like I at least want to be able to pick up the leather armor. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, okay, well, let's learn something here. Let's go back to town. Let's sell things, and then we'll go back to the Cold Plains, and our stuff will either be there or it won't. It's a good lesson to learn now, seeing as how, uh, again, we are still, we are in open beta, or early access to open beta. Yes. Do you buy stuff? You do. I don't know that we need, like, all of these potions. We don't need a lot of mana potions right now, for sure. This can be inserted into a socketed item. Can be inserted into a socketed item. I want to keep some potions, but I, I don't want them filling up our inventory. And there's probably some kind of ideal balance of like how many potions you want to have with you at all times. Uh, okay. Now, let's go back. How many times will I do that? Uh, let's head back, and we will see if all that stuff is still on the ground. I guess we could just teleport back. That would be a little smarter. Ah, uh, yeah, awesome. Everything stays. That's great. 15 defense. Unidentified. I can't use this yet. Okay, so we need to have that looked at by somebody? Is that what's going on? I am overburdened. You are already overburdened. Unbelievable. Yeah, I guess it happens that quickly. Can we even pick up the short sword? Okay. No? What you need? I don't know how to have this identified. I remember this mechanic from Diablo 3 a little bit. That didn't work. I can't. Okay, he can't. Perfect. 
I'm not even sure if I have successfully equipped that, but... I'd love to do something with this armor. But I am just not sure what I would do to have her identify it. So let's sell it for now. Maybe eventually I will figure it out. So we did find our way to the Cold Plains. Now we are looking for the Burial Grounds. I mean, we could, we could sell the rest of this stuff, I guess. I think I'll be more concerned with selling everything when we are in live. Not as much in the beta. Uh, because I'm assuming there's going to be a character wipe. Oh, crap. How do we forget you? Are you hiding in a tree? Freedom to go home. Yeah, okay, but we still haven't found the burial grounds. We just hit an experience shrine. Maybe that grants us more experience per kill? Possibly, maybe. I see what you're doing back here. You can get him! There you go. I can't carry anymore. Not a surprise. Not a surprise.
Now, ideally, when our inventory is full, we'd go back and we would sell everything. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to try to focus... Uh, oh, a key. Okay, well, at least we can carry the key. Oh, we can wear this now? Was it a level thing that we needed to reach or something? Alright, well, there's our crude leather armor. Thought we'd picked up a sash, but maybe we dropped it. Another experience shrine, okay. I look forward to a time when enemies don't want to run away from us. New stats. Bunch of strength. We're not getting hit enough for me to really care about vitality right now. Whoops. Since I'm not using either of these, I mean... I should really be doing that, that's what I'm using. Nothing inside the houses so far. I'd love to find some loot in there. Alright, who's rezzing? Where are you at? Where are you at? Please stop rezzing. Now you're rezzing from all the way over here? That's real cool. This is a lot of open land. Okay, here we go.
Now he can't res them, so I can kill them first, I think. Then we can kill him. I really like when M opens the map, if you haven't noticed. Figures. Entering the stony fields. No, I don't want to do that. We need to be here in this area. We just need to be finding the graveyard. We have not done. I'm at a point where I feel like I can just ignore these little guys. They're not a threat at all. They hardly ever even successfully attack us. We just need to be killing the sorcerers that can res and hurl firebolts and stuff. Everyone else, uh, well they don't really seem to matter too much. They're not even that good at like following us. Alright, well... We could keep heading to the south, I guess. Like, if they were actually interested in stopping and fighting, that would be fine, we could do that. Uh, to the cave. See, this is not the burial grounds. But we will be exploring the cave at some point. Here we go, entering the burial this grounds. This holy place has been desecrated. Kill Bloodraven. We could do that if Bloodraven is going to be somebody that's like... Uh, nearby. Do can we just drag these out? Oh, we can. Oh, does that get them out of our inventory? Okay. So I have a feeling that Blood Raven might be in the mausoleum. <laughs> just a feeling that I have. Oh no, she's right here. Oh no, her army is destroying us. Oh god. That was bad. 
That was incredibly, incredibly bad. Yeah, her army did not miss an opportunity to really screw us up. Although I think she was doing most of that damage. Oh, here she comes. She's really, really fast. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I'd love to get a hit in, but if we don't get a hit in, that's fine. Not really sure how we would at this point. Yeah, something's going on. <laughs> Something is going on. Are we supposed to be able to do anything about how fast she is? Or what? Yeah, I don't really know. It feels bad to have not landed a hit on her, but... Look at that. I... I don't know what's going on. You have died! Press escape to continue. Okay, uh, well, we died. And we lost all of our equipped gear when we died? Oh, that's fun, that's fun, I didn't know that. Uh, I probably should have recalled something like that, but... Nope, that's awesome. Alright, well... Do we have any... any gold? No, we, we dropped everything. That's cool. Are we able to go back and, uh, pick it up? This will be a fun experiment. Can we pick up any of the gear that we just, just got annihilated with? Or at least recover our gold? Yeah, we did get our stuff back, so that's good at least. That being said, I think it's time to get out of here. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, okay. Well, super glad we got our stuff back. Oh, cool. These stay open. That's perfect. Okay, we are going to take a break here, guys. I don't know if we're ready to take her on yet, or if there's something I need to understand about movement. Um, having a ranged attack of some kind against her would be really nice, but obviously on the Paladin right now we don't have that, so we'll see what we can do. We have a cave that we can explore and a couple other areas to take a look around in, and maybe we'll get more powerful and be able to come back and take her out. Maybe we need better gear and items. Really want to hear all your guys' thoughts. Let me know what you think. Any tips and tricks are always welcome. And I want to say thank you for being here with me today and spending your time here. I really appreciate all the support. It does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Diablo 2 really soon. Bye now.